today on Karamo. Y'all want to join different movements instead of joining the gym. It's the truth. But They're why is the obese crowd that you're attacking? Why are we the issue? Because you're unhealthy. Just because you're small frame does not mean you're healthy. No woman should ever have to debate a man Thank over her you. body. I was hit with thousands and thousands and thousands of fat So what did comments. Carla do in that moment? She had liked that person's post. Mm -hmm. You don't ever, it, ever, no, no, no. ever ask somebody if they're legal. Contact Thank you, me. Don't do that. That is insane. Please welcome my next guest, Dance on Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girl Show. Welcome to the show. We've got a good one for you today. We've all heard of the term body shaming, which is the practice of humiliating or criticizing someone for their physical appearance. And it's something that is affecting our culture for everyone, both young and old, men and women. Which brings me to my first guest, Chantel. Breaking up with friends and taking a step back can sometimes be a hard thing to do, but it's very necessary. Chantel is fed up with her ex-friend, Christian, who she says her fat-shaming Facebook rants were deal-breakers for their friendship. Let's take a look. We in a world of too much acceptance. Everything ain't accepted, sweetheart. It ain't. Spandex ain't for everybody, sweetheart. No fat-shaming. You should be ashamed to be fat. Social media has these thinking that everything is accepted. Everything is not accepted. Oh, you killing them, girl. Ooh, hot girl summer. No, fat girl, you look stank. You worried about putting makeup on your face? You need to be worried about getting that fat off your body. Y'all gonna be offended? I don't give a okay? You're lazy. I'm calling a spade a a spade. You're lazy. Well, everyone, please welcome Chantel to the show. Okay, first of all, we give it up for a queen when we see a queen, right? Okay, it's normally not my place to judge, but in this case, we saw that disgusting video. And it's disgusting and I don't tolerate it, so please tell me a little bit more about your ex-friendship. Well... Christian and I were friends for about four years, yeah. and he's been taken to social media on these rants about, you know, how women should look. Big, small, if we need to be in the gym, we need to stop making excuses, and that is really torn our friendship apart, like, because I am big into body positivity. This is what I stand for. I've been this shape. Yes. An amazing yes. shape. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. So having to have this battle constantly and then to have it with your friend, somebody you consider a friend, yeah. that's where it hurts me the most. My gosh. So what are the type of things that he's personally said to you? Rants on social media, what he posts and it affects me because he comments under my things too. And I'm just trying to uplift everybody. What does he comment under your things? I want to know. Oh, uh, we need to go to the gym. Um, you need to stop wearing makeup, lashes, the Sphinx aren't working for us. It's bad. You see, can you read that? Please? Body positivity is just another way of saying you lazy and would rather put on makeup and lashes, wig, weave, nails. All you try to cover up is the fact that you lazy and weak. Uh, 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 no. So you can see why this has bothered our relationship. I can't, I can't even look at him no more, let alone talk to him. Why confront Christian now? Because... It's not only for myself, it's for everybody. I have a daughter, I have four kids, four kids. So I don't want her to ever have to go through this. How did you get this confidence? I started uh, in plus size error at the age of 14, 14. So I just knew I wasn't gonna look like everybody else. Yes. So I had to stand in the mirror and be accepting of what I had. All you can do is own your sexy, own your beautiful, and just give it to the world because authentically did, it's just there? you. How did you get there? Um, counseling, standing in front of the mirror, saying mantras every day, um, just people around me telling me how beautiful I am and finally having the, the oomph to believe it. Mm, that's it. 
That's it. Yeah. How do you define that courage? Well, you always want to keep positivity around you all the time because negative anything plays on your mental Amen. and brings you down and you don't want to feel like that so having to step away once you express to that person and look this is what's bothering me this is what you're doing to my self-esteem and either you're going to fix it or we can no longer be friends amen and that's it so i want to know why do you think christian says these things secretly I think he likes plus size women. You know, usually when someone, you know, taunts something, it's Thou something. Thou who protect. You know. That's what they say, yeah, right? Yeah, so deep down inside, I think he may have a fetish for plus size women and he just can't get it out. Mm. That's, that's what I think. You know, that's mm. usually how it works. And so now that Christian is out of your life, how has that been affecting you and your family? Because I know your, your kids used to be close to Christian, right? Yes. Um, Christian and his son also, our kids play together. Um, so for them not to be a part of each other's life, that's like yeah. we, we shouldn't have to live like that because you feel a certain type of way. You can always keep your opinions to yourself. We come in various shapes, sizes, colors, and why can't you just love me for that? Why is that not enough? Yeah. So. Do you want to repair this relationship? If he's willing to change. If you can get through to him, Karamo. It's been hard. But I couldn't get through what to is, him. What does change mean? Because it's one thing to say stop posting negative stuff. But what does it mean for you for him to change? What does that look like? Um, just keep the negative comments to a minimum. Matter of fact, don't even say them at all. Yes. If you want to help the community, if you want to get more people active in fitness, be an example. It works to be an example versus putting someone or anyone down for where they are because you don't know what they're dealing with in their life. You don't know what they're possibly going through and you're just tearing us down even more. Mm. So if I have confidence now, imagine the next girl who doesn't have the confidence. Yes. And it could be a situation where it's the all in to be all for that person. Listen, it's the truth. Before we go to break and we bring Christian out, can we show the world why you're a plus size model making it all um, hitting these runways? <laughs> Everyone. Yes. Yes. Listen, everyone. Christian is here and he has a special message for Chantel as well as other women. We will find out what that is after the break, so don't go anywhere. Coming up. Hold on, hold on. Do you say upright what? Oh, come on. That's, what how, that? that's how you look. No woman should ever have to debate a man Thank over her you. body. been taken to social media on these rants about you know how women should look and that is really torn our friendship apart because I am big into body positivity and this is what I stand for I've been this shape an amazing yeah. shape yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am yes, ma yes. all right friends we are back with the Queen Chantel and I need to talk to this man Christian come on out no, we're not gonna boo him. We're not gonna boo him. Come and shake your hand. How you doing, Chris? How you doing? I'm brother? good. Come take a seat. You look smooth. I ain't gonna diss you. You look smooth. You look smooth. Appreciate it. I yeah. appreciate it. Okay, so I saw that video, and the only words that came to my mind was disgusting. Why do you feel like you have to be this rude and put these videos out to like talk about people's weight? Well, let me tell you something. I tried the other way. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I tried the other way. I've, I've used good vernacular. Did you? It, he talking to me or you? Oh. Listen, I tried the, see, that's what happens. They I don't get recall, entitled, get entitled. But, but I, I tried the other way. I have videos, I have titled. posts. She was just yeah. trying to make sure yeah. this is your friend. She I, was there. Yeah, but she. I haven't seen it. I, I, I mean, come on now. Lead by example. Why do you, you have to You're an offensive fashion. tackle. I'm a coach. This is how coaches talk to tackles. I mean, y'all big. I'm just no. being honest with you. This is how coaches talk to tackles. Excuse me, no. I mean, yes, you are. Well, well, a nose guard then. So I wanna you, why do you believe that women who are the size that Chantel is should be fat shamed? Why do you believe that? Because that's what you're doing, you're shaming women. I don't call it fat shaming. If, what do you is call it the truth? Is, if, is she- Truth to you? No, 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 it's the truth. See, For who? See, your movement, your movement has, it's almost like y'all wanna join different movements instead of joining the gym. It's the truth. Everybody can see, are, are you, they're, they're small people, there's anorexic, there's in between, and then there's obese. But they're, why is the obese crowd that you're attacking, why are we the issue? Because you're unhealthy. Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm, hold, hold, 
I'm Wait, actually, let me there are people who are size 10 and are unhealthy. They eat crap, they don't take care of themselves. Just because you're small frame does not mean you're healthy. Why is it a problem for women to celebrate their curves? Oh. Why is it okay? Why is it not okay for you? You can celebrate curves, but when it becomes unhealthy, let me tell you something. The number one killers in the community, right? Are hypertension, high blood pressure, and what else? What else? Heart disease. Heart disease. All of those are a direct contribution of what? Obesity, being overweight, having this much pressure on your heart. Be, your, your skeleton's not even prepared to, 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 to carry that much weight. But that's a different conversation versus saying that someone right. is lazy, saying that someone is like, not the way. No, I the way. And I don't care about you not being my friend, because oh. let me tell you something. If I can't, listen, oh. I, and I'm not saying it that way, but I'm saying it in this way right here. I gotta be your friend. I gotta tell you the truth, the honest to God truth. You That's got friends around. You got no. Delivery okay, well, what is the way? Everything. There is no. There be is no example. way to tell the truth. Yes, it is. No, be the example. Isn't. Show people that working out is important and why it's important. Well, I don't show don't people working out is me. important. I don't. I don't. I don't show. I don't do that. On top but of the antics that you oh, put no, out no, you on do social videos. Media. You do videos on social media, and for the past few years, you've been the same size. Where's the? Where is? Where's, so what's wrong with my size? So what's wrong with my body? So, Christian, I want to know why do you feel like you're not being judgmental? Because it's the truth. Listen, when they when you're you not, go to the so doctor, this, this is what we're gonna have to do. And, I, and I, honestly, we're gonna have to stop saying that that's the truth. Thank you. Because the thing is, is that it is unfortunately you giving an opinion about someone's body not is not right. the truth. That is your opinion. Yeah. But you calling someone lazy, you saying that they go to the store, they're fat, they're doing these are not truths. You can't keep calling them not truths. Truth. Because that's it's not your because I'm, not I'm true. I, because I'm looking at this queen right now who is not lazy. She has a family. She's not lazy. This is not a lazy woman. I've known her. And you want to call your I don't see the results. I don't see the results. But, you, but you're saying you don't see the results. Come on now, come on now, come on now, come on. So we, as I think my family here has told you they don't agree with but you. No, but you they know agree with but Chantel. You know there are some people right now that do agree with me. They're sitting beside someone that's probably an upright hog, and they don't really want to say nothing. They don't no. want to say nothing. They probably read it. Hold on, hold on. Do you say upright what? Hog. That's how, that? that's how you look. It's not acceptable for a young man, because I'm going to call you young, that knows better. Know better. Knows better. If you had a daughter right now and your daughter was being talked to this way, if I called your daughter an upright hog, how would you feel? If she looked like an upright hog, she just be upright no, home. It is what it is. Absolutely Sometimes not. you gotta embrace the truth. Absolutely For real. not. For real. No, I have a daughter. Why would I want anybody are you, to speak okay, on so her like that? Okay, so if this is body positivity, are you teaching the positivity to your daughter? Does that mean you, you give your daughter honey buns in the morning? Is that body positivity? That's, just be fat. Body just be positivity fat? is not about that. Body positivity is loving yourself where you are in life. <laughs> and what you do not like about yourself, you no, it's not. Step. Okay, no, it's not. Well, I'm gonna cut this real quick because what I want y'all to know, and I want everyone at home to know this as well. No woman should ever have to debate a man Thank over her you. body. Thank so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this conversation right now. Thank you. So I want every woman at home to understand this. There will be men in your life that are ignorant, that want to tell you that who you are is not enough. And let myself, let Chantel, and let my family yes. here in the audience be the first to tell you your body is perfectly designed as is. You keep loving who you are, and if you can't find that love in yourself, there are people like us that want to reach out to you and send you that love. Yes. Don't ever listen to the Christians in your life. Never. We will be right back. Yes. Later, please welcome my next guest dance on Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girl show. There are some people right now that do agree with me. They're sitting beside someone that's probably an upright hog, and they don't really want to say nothing. Hold on, hold on. Do you say upright what? Hog. If I called your daughter an upright hog, how would you feel? If she looked like an upright hog? You just be up right no, home. It is what it is. Sometimes not. you gotta embrace the truth. So, um, obviously, here's my whole take on the situation and advice. Chantel, you did the right thing by cutting Christian out of your life. We all see that. But since you cut him out of your life, you're down one friend. Can I be your new friend? Of course. Yes. Of course. Yes. Um, yes. And then, secondly, can you teach me how to do that model walk? Because I want to make sure that my body feels good, yes. too. Can we get a little... Oh, what I got to do? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Come on, can we get straight? Let me see. Yes. We're going to go, hold on. Let's move this out the way.
because I want to show people that no matter how your body looks, you are beautiful no matter what. So can we start a little runway show? Yes, go. Yes. Oh my God, man. Yes. Coming up. She would go behind my back and ask my husband, what do I eat, how often I work out. She had asked my husband, who I was dating at the time, if I was a virgin. You are the fact. You're my state. to talk to sister-in-laws Carla and Shay Lee, who say they haven't spoken in two years and now need my help. Carla is married to Shay Lee's brother, Jeremy. She says Shay Lee has never accepted her into the family. And Shay Lee is here, and we will hear her side of the story later. But first, I want to welcome Carla. Carla, come on out. How are you doing? Well, don't you look you, fabulous? You do too. Yeah. Thanks for having Ooh, me on the show. Nice to meet you. Come on, sit in a seat for me. All right, now, so tell me, Carla, why are you not speaking to Shaylee? So, first of all, I don't trust Shaylee, uh, but the truth is, I have been trying to talk with her. Um, so, there's a lot that that goes behind that. So, let me take you on that experience yeah. of what exactly happened. So um, to start things off with, um, Shaylee and me, uh, we went out to eat and I was feeling under the weather, so I got a soup. And so she started questioning me, asking me like, what do I eat? It made me feel uncomfortable. It made me question my body. Mm. And then later on, I found out that she would go behind my back and ask my husband, what do I eat? What do, if I work out, how often I work out? <sighs> Sorry, this is hard no, I get to it. talk about all of this because it was like the whole thing about it is it made me question my body, the way she handled all of it. Yeah. Um, so, and she was rude to you that first time outside of just questioning your body. Tell me more about that. Yeah, so, um, so after that um, it, whole experience, um, I had learned to find out that she had asked my husband, who I was dating at the time, if I was a virgin. So she would ask very personal questions, and I didn't like it, so I would tell my husband how I felt. And so uh, my husband thought it was a good idea to reach out to her and say, hey, you need to say Car sorry to Carla. I personally never needed a fake apology from her, but she um, messaged me, and she's like, hey, Jeremy told me that this is bothering you. And I was like, yeah, of course. Like, why are you going to ask? my husband these personal questions about me. Yeah. And, so, and talk about your body, which is a big one. Yeah. Yeah. I asked her, I was like, why did you ask this? And she got very defensive. And she started throwing like Bible scriptures at me, saying that I'm not a Christian. She knew nothing about me ever um, for her to like throw these assumptions about me. So I want to know, how has Shaylee talking about your weight and asking these personal questions right. affected your relationship, not only with her brother, who is your husband, but yeah. also the rest of the family? Um, this is, this is a very funny thing about it is I've never told my family uh, the encounters I've had with her because I didn't want them to see her in a negative light. Mm -hmm. Um, but she did the complete opposite. She started telling everybody that I'm this terrible person. And I'm sure other things that, you know, I know nothing about that she's told them. I know this because she, they started like messaging my husband saying you shouldn't be with her. On our engagement night, uh, her husband messaged the group chat when we were all celebrating with my friends and family saying, you guys shouldn't be together. No one likes Carla, you shouldn't be with her. And so um, it really like kind of like downplayed our whole engagement party because we were just trying to celebrate and enjoy our time together. Mm. So. so my producers told me that you said 
that you and Shaylee have different opinions about body positivity. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Um, so I'm actually learning a lot about body positivity and I'm learning that I am for body positivity, but what I'm not for is a toxicity behind it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm not for. So then why do you, do you feel like Shaylee is hiding behind the body positivity movement? Do you think she's toxic when it comes to that? Um, here's one example. Um, she has said on several occasions, referring to as skinny people, or straight sized people where, um, you know, are this, and she kind of compares. And so I don't think that's fair. Because you're skinny does not mean you don't have curves. I think every body shape has curves. I think sometimes when we talk about body positivity, we only think of someone who might be of larger sizes. Yeah. There's different ways we see our bodies no matter how it looks, and For you have sure. to love your, your body at any state. So, do you believe this relationship can be fixed between you two? I don't know. Personally, um, the last thing, and it, it was a, like, the last straw for me, um, she had questioned me, and this was um, the last time we went out to eat um, together. She started asking uh, me if I'm legal, um, if my parents are legal. Um, and, you know, I'm a first generation American, so for me, that was super sensitive topic and I wasn't like trying to make a big deal out of it but I went home and my dad has like a noticeable accent so I asked him he's been in the USA for over 50 years so I asked him oh, has anybody asked you if you're legal if you're a citizen of the USA and he said Carla that's a really weird question nobody should ever ask that and then that got me thinking I was like she's She's asking these questions not to like get to know me because she's never said, "Hey Carla, what do you do for fun?" Hey Carla, let's uh, let's you know meet up and go out to eat since you're in town, and she's she's never made that effort. And when I try to be a grown adult and tell her, "Hey, you know, like this is what bothered me. Let's fix it," she started getting defensive and telling me that I wasn't Christian, I wasn't this, I wasn't that. And I even gave her my phone number and I said, "You know what? Just call me so we can fix this." Yeah. And she never did. Well, we just heard why Carla is not speaking to Shay Lee. And when we come back, we'll find out why Shay Lee is not speaking to Carla. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Coming up. I was hit with thousands and thousands and thousands of fat So what did comments. Carla do in that moment? She had liked that person's post. Mm -hmm. You don't ever, it, no, ever, no, no. ever ask somebody if they're legal. Contact hey, you, me. Don't do that. Why are you not speaking to Shaylee? She would go behind my back and ask my husband, what do I eat what do, if I work out? She started asking uh, me if I'm legal. She started saying that I'm not a Christian. She had asked my husband if I was a virgin. All right, welcome back. Let's meet Carla's sister-in-law and hear what she has to say. Shaylee, come on out. How are you doing? Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Mwah. You look beautiful. Thank you. It's Both of y'all just came. I match, I match you. Yes, you do. <laughs> All right, so Shaylee, we heard what Carla has to say. She yeah. said that basically there's issues because in a sense you're bullying her about her body. In a sense, you're also bullying her about where her family comes from. What is your perspective on that? I wish this was a conversation that we could have had on well, our own together. But I had reached out multiple times to you. And I remember one specific <laughs> time when you came into town, I said, hey, can we meet up for coffee? It's really important for me to have a good relationship with my brother. And it would mean so much to me if you could tell me what I've done to you. Because you were telling my whole family I did something that you couldn't forgive me for, and I didn't know what that was. I never said that. I never once said I couldn't forgive you because your mom told your bro told my husband that I didn't forgive you, like saying that I hate you and all these things. And I said, where are these words coming from? I never once said that. And you never have. I never have this, uh, this text message saying that you want to go out with me. To begin with, I think I have the the right upper hand to say like, I tried to have this adult conversation with you and you got very defensive. And I didn't know what else to do. I said, why am I going to have this conversation again? Is it because I'm married to your brother? Shaylee, do you have a problem with Carla being married to your brother? I do not have a problem with Carla being married to my brother because I want my brother to be happy. I am, however, very sad because since the beginning 
of them being together, my relationship with my brother has dissipated. Mm. And I wish that I could <laughs> state my side to everything that was claimed here, but I have a whole completely different side. I have a different story. So then what are your issues tell. with Carla? You tell me. From the beginning, I've tried to be friends with you. I've tried to have some kind of connection with you. I remember the very first time where you had complimented my brother and said how great of a husband he was and how awesome of a person he and was. Again, we're married and, and you right, completely... And, and I said, and I said, I agree, Jeremy's awesome. And then I found out later that you were offended by that because I didn't say anything about you, but I didn't know no, you. No, that wasn't that. Okay, well that, that was the first... It wasn't first... anything about that. Okay. No. That was the first issue. And then but... I feel like things got brought up to me later on. The whole conversation that we had where I asked if you were legal, that has been stretched to a different proportion. You were talking about your you were talking about your family in Peru. No, 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 no. Let me talk no, to you. No, 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 no. You don't ever, it, no, ever, no, no. ever ask somebody if they're legal. Contact you, me. Don't do that. Con that is insane. Context. I don't know who taught you you can do that, but that is not okay. Context is important in this conversation, and let me say why. Okay. Because you were talking about your family in Peru and you were saying how they wanted to come to this country and they wanted to become legal citizens. But no, you said it was I a never process. said that. I never said that. This was a conversation that. we I never had said in that. that Starbucks. My subject. family is, they do have a citizenship where they can come. So okay. you're, I think you're remembering things wrong. So I want to hear well, about we, this we as well. Because, two different sides. because I want to know, so what she did say as well is that you were shaming her about her body. Yeah, and I do not even remember that conversation. I would literally, my entire message, I'm a body positive, plus size fashion YouTuber. My entire message, matter. my entire message is about loving our bodies as they are. I would, of course. I would never purposely, ever purposely hurt somebody in that way, yeah. ever. Yes. And I'm sorry. Like Thank I really, you. I really am sorry that you, you felt that way. That I wish, means a lot. I wish that you would have like said it in that moment. Like, hey, when when you say that, that means that. But I had no idea yeah, this entire time. Yeah, because the thing was, we were married at the time, and you started asking him questions. Um, does Carla work out? What does she eat? I don't remember Why? asking these questions. Okay, but do you realize when you ask these questions, it makes me question my own body. How yeah. are you gonna how are you gonna make someone feel that way and then have the nerve to be a body positive influencer? It makes yeah. no sense. Right. It really doesn't. And, does I, it. and Shaley, I agree with Shaley, you. Shaley, my producers, Shaley, my producers told me that you said that sometimes you've been discriminated against. Yes. Have you ever been shamed by Carla? Second handedly, I guess. Yeah. Talk I mean, there it. was a public figure that had made a video um, basically bashing plus size people and the body positive community. Yeah. And I had conviction in my heart to make a video about it. So I posted a video and um, all I'm doing in this video, as you can see, is like rubbing my stomach and embracing my body for what yeah. it is. Because I'm proud of myself. Like it's yeah. taken me a very, very That's long good. time to get to a place where I am and happy I with to. myself. I took a long time and you made me relive a trauma that I wasn't meant to I'm relive. I'm so sorry. I yeah. literally so, never meant well, to do I that I want to know you. what happened, though, when you, see yeah. you, post, you posted this video in response to mm -hmm. this person who made a video. And, then, and you said, I'm loving myself. And then what happened? And then this person who has millions of followers actually made a response to me. Was not expecting it at all. <laughs> But it happened, and I was scrolling my phone, and all of a sudden, I was hit with thousands and thousands and thousands of comments, messages, all hey, of you these. You don't have to worry about getting kidnapped. We don't want to. All oh my fat God. shaming comments, fat like shaming. tons That's and tons bad. and tons of, of fat shaming So what shaming did Carla comments. do in that moment? She had liked that person's post. Mm -hmm. yeah. And my, my, my response to that was, I have tried so hard, and my and my side, I feel like I have tried so hard Hold to make amends with you. I can't sweat pie that because you nonchalantly just said yes, you liked a post. Yeah, I did. But if you that, felt pain and hurt, right? She's getting attacked online. We all know what that can feel like. Yeah. Why would you then like it? Because I was hurt. Hurt people hurt people. I get mm -hmm. that. But but that still doesn't make it right. No, it was wrong. And so, I'll own because, up to it. Because the thing is, she's mm -hmm. trying to own up to her behavior and yeah. saying, like, I'm sorry. And, and from my perspective, because I'm on the outside and you asked for my help, it seems like you don't want to hear her. Why should she accept your apology when you're not wanting to hear her? Yeah, I agree. Listen, everyone, we'll be right back with more.
Later, please welcome my next guest dance on Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girl Show. I do not have a problem with Carla being married to my brother because I want my brother to be happy. Why are you not speaking to Shayla? She would go behind my back and ask my husband, what do I eat? What do, if I work out? You made me relive a trauma. But I have a whole completely different side. I have a different story. She started asking uh, me if I'm legal. You don't ever, it, no, ever, no, no. ever ask somebody if they're legal. Come it's on. you, me. You say that Carla has driven a wedge between you and your brother. What do you mean by that? I just, I used to be able to go to my brother to talk about anything. And he was the first person I told that I was pregnant with my first child. And we were always really super close. And I just feel like now it's, I have to watch everything I say. I have to be careful because I know she reads all of his messages. Um, mm -hmm. She's even responded to me as him. Yeah, in the past. I did. The thing and, was that And I don't know who I'm talking to. If I want to talk to him, I have to call him on the phone. I hear you say you want a relationship with your brother, but that relationship with your brother, unfortunately or fortunately, has to start with you two mending. So why is it important for you to mend this relationship then? What it is has it, what been from the very beginning. It's been important to me. What why are, are you shaking your head? You're, you, don't under, you don't know. I'm telling you. I'm speaking from my heart right now, and I'm telling you. I've been trying. Because you've never made I want me feel to. welcomed into the family. I'm so what does she need to do to make you feel welcomed? I want to know. I want changed behavior. And, and the only time she tried to change her behavior. But what does that change behavior look like? Change behavior? Um, stop gossiping. You love to gossip all day with your family. You love to gossip. I don't like that. I don't care who it is. Just stop it. If you have a problem with someone, say it to their face. And I, and I, and yeah. that's, and when I found out that you were offended by some of the things that I had said in the past that I didn't realize I'd offended you, I messaged you that time and I said, can we work this out? And you said, stop being so childish and call me about it. And that response, I didn't like that response because I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to like, it's like I'm trying to give you my heart and you're like rejecting it. I want to ask you if, if after everything that has happened, ever want a relationship with me if I wasn't married to your brother. I want to know the truth. Yeah, if, if, if we're willing to like talk about our differences and discuss and be open with each other, absolutely. Well, my question is, why did your attitude change after we got married? The only time she's tried to change her behavior was when I got married to him. So how am I supposed to trust that she wants a relationship with me? I don't believe it. So Marla, this is what I need for y'all to do, and this is Shaylee, you as well. First of all, you're holding on to something in the past that, yes, hurt you, but you got to start to figure out how to get to a place where you can heal that and release that. It's okay that if she didn't like you before, because you might not have liked her. And I, I never had a problem with her, and honestly. That's, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. And so for you, you're like, damn, I didn't have a problem with you, but you had a problem with me. It's fine. Yeah. If Just do the work now to start to mend it. Mm -hmm. What happened in the past can't change, but you can do the work now to mend it. And so what I really do want to start, and I think a great baby step, is to at least apologize to each other for shaming each other on that body. Mm -hmm. You made comments about how she was, she was eating that made her feel uncomfortable, and you liked the post when she was being bullied about her body online. So can you both apologize to each other for that and allow that to be the first step? I just, I'm sorry. I'm, mm -hmm. I didn't realize. I appreciate that. I didn't realize I hurt you like that. Yeah. <laughs> I would and never do that on purpose. Thank you. That means a lot. That means a lot. I appreciate that. I'm really sorry that what I did hurt you, and I didn't mean it to hurt you. I'm so sorry. I really wish I didn't do that. Thank you. It's going to be baby steps for you yeah. all because there's pain that you were yeah. experiencing from before, and you just have to now acknowledge it and not minimize it. Mm -hmm. And I think if y'all can start doing that, you can start taking the steps to move forward and be healthier as sisters. Yeah. Because I do believe she wants to be in your life. 
I know it's going to be hard for you to believe, and so I'm not forcing you to believe now, mm -hmm. but I do believe it. My, Can you give your sister a hug? Because I yeah, believe it's sincere. Yeah, of course. This is a big step. Y'all saw each other for the first time today, I think. A little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Next guests are redefining the body positivity movement and dance on Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girl show. Recently, their incredible dance TikTok videos started going viral. Please welcome Sydney, Jasmine, Moesha, Charity, and Isabel. talk about how that felt. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having us here. <laughs> so it started with one of our really great friends who's another big girl. Mm -hmm. um, and she and I were at a rehearsal with the rest of the girls. And we were like, you know what? We got this kind of beat in our head. Let's just make something up. And the next thing you know, we were on TikTok viral with the rest of the girls. So <laughs> 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 and what's so important about this performance is that we all came together at like such short notice and we inputted all our ideas. Moesha assisted. And it was just like so joyful to be with them again and be reunited. So. Yes. Well, the energy you have on the show came through in the videos because we saw your joy, we saw your passion, and we just have fun watching you all. All right, Sydney, I got to know, what is next for the big girls? Yes, let me tell you. So <laughs> the big girls have a lot of stuff coming up. Um, some of us are going on tour. A lot of us have been doing award shows, dancing for Lizzo, of course, for SNL, BET, some mm -hmm. amazing icons in the industry as well. Um, so we're doing the thing and we're representing for the big girls. But just for big girls, period, the possibilities are endless. And that's why this show, Watch Out for the Big Girls, is so important because we really want the next generation to see us, but watch it and see themselves. Mm -hmm. So, Amen to that. <laughs> what, like you just said, what y'all are doing is inspirational, is amazing, is, is inspiring, period. You all, all of that y'all have accomplished and the things that are coming your way, you deserve so Thank much. You. I promise you. Y'all know I'm fans of y'all's. I just love everything. And anything I could ever do to support y'all in y'all's journey, Aww. let me know. Y'all are all friends Thank and family you. of the Karamo Show. All right? Thank you. Love you so much. Yes. Yes. Listen, everybody, thank you all so much for being here today. Thank my guests for being here today, and we will see you next time. Hey, hey, hey. All right.